Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So if you guys hadn't guessed it, I've moved. I'm now in my own apartment. Let me know what you guys think of the backdrop. I'm probably gonna change it. I'm kind of in the middle of unpacking still, and this is just what I had handy, so just threw it in the back there. But I'm still getting used to the setup and the lighting, so hopefully it looks okay. Anyway, since I have moved, I thought this would be the perfect time to do a homewares haul. So, a little confession to you guys, I am obsessed with homewares, and I cannot be left unsupervised in a homeware store. Which, coincidentally, is just what happened. So, I did go a little crazy on the homewares, but I figured it's okay, because I'm going to share it with you guys. As you guys are going to see, there's a reoccurring theme for my apartment, and that is gold, black, and marble. This did actually cause me a lot of anxiety trying to pick the theme for my apartment. I'm really obsessed with copper and rose gold at the moment, but I figured regular gold would be easier to find, so I just went with regular gold. So if you guys want to see the homewares I bought, plus a mini apartment tour, keep in mind my apartment is nowhere near done yet, then just keep watching. So let's start off with the expensive stuff I am terrified of breaking, so then I can put them away. So most importantly, I bought some wine glasses. Like I said, gold is like the reoccurring theme for my apartment, and these were from Maya. I picked up five of these. I wanted six, but then turns out everyone else wanted them too, and there were only five left. So I had to get five. But these go perfectly with my apartment theme, and they're great for Christmas. And who doesn't love wine? Okay, now I'm gonna go put these away before they break. <laughs> then next up from Maya, I picked up a gold fold. This was made in Turkey. Honestly, I don't really know what I'm going to put in it yet, but it went with my apartment theme, and it looked pretty, and it was 30% off. So I got it. This is why I can't be left unsupervised in homeware stores. Then the last thing I picked up from Mayo is this. The packaging is so cute. Let me just open it up though. So again, going with the gold theme, I got a gold plate. I figured this could be nice to put some like biscuits or cheese on during the Christmas time. Now onto the stuff I got from Target. Target and Kmart are probably my favourite stores in the entire world. So as you can imagine, I got a fair bit. So first up from Target, more wine glasses! Man, I seem like such an alcoholic in this video. But on the plus side, I only bought two of these. And because I spent so much at Target, they actually gave me $20 off. So really, I'm like saving money. But these are so pretty, they're like gold dipped. Now I just need to invite like seven friends over to use all my wine glasses. Then the next thing from Target, I'm pretty sure this was part of the same range, are these gold dip bowls. It was kind of like a fluke that I found these because I only had two bowls and both were in the dishwasher because I'd eaten my cereal in them. So I went out to find new bowls and then found these. And they were only like $4 each. I got two of them. Next up from Target, let's do all of the gold stuff first. So next up from Target, I got this metal basket. I figured I could put all of my lush stuff in here because at the moment they're all just sort of spread out over my sink. My apartment's such a mess right now. Then I also picked up this gold bowl with a wooden lid. It was on sale for $10. Still don't know what I'm gonna put in it yet. Maybe some tea. I have lots of tea, I like tea. Honestly, I bought all this stuff and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I just went a bit crazy with homewares. Okay, is this the last gold thing I got from Target? I think so. So the last gold thing I got from Target is this jar. I think it's called a pharmaceutical jar. I'm gonna put flowers in it. It just says love on it and it's got this little lid. And the last things I picked up from Target are these marble print tumblers. I figured I could put my toothbrush and toothpaste in one and then pencils in the other one. So that's why I got two. Ooh, how long has that been showing for? <laughs> now onto the stuff I got from Kmart. Oh, I love Kmart. Who doesn't love Kmart? So the first thing I got from Kmart are these milk bottles and they come with cute little paper straws. I'm planning on having like an apartment warming and then I can use these. Then next up from Kmart, okay, so I have like a serious candle addiction, like I have an entire shelf in my linen cupboard just dedicated to candles. It's a serious problem guys. So what did I do? I bought four more candles and best of all these come in marble print candle holders with gold writing on them, so so how could I not get these, really? So these are Dark Amber and Ginger Lily and Wild Fig and Cassis scented? They just look really pretty. Then next up I got this gold geometric candle holder. 
if I'm gonna buy all these candles, I gotta have something to hold them in, right? That's my excuse anyway. Then the last gold thing I got from Kmart is this tray. It actually says brass on it, but it's gold. Again, haven't figured out where I'm gonna put this yet, but that's a problem for Future Cat. So also from Kmart, I picked up these marble, oh. So also from Kmart, I picked up these marble cushions. I know a lot of YouTubers have these already, but they're only like $10 each, so. I had to get them. Plus, look how pretty they are. Gosh, Kmart, always delivering the goods. And the last thing I got from Kmart is this black basket. I was gonna use this as a washing basket. My washing machine's really small, so I can't really fit many clothes in there, so I thought this would be perfect. Okay, so the rest of the homewares I picked up are sort of from all over the place. So the next thing I got is from Spotlight. This is the Yankee Candle in the, it's about to say flavor, in the scent Christmas Cookie. And oh my god, this smells amazing. It smells like vanilla. You guys know how obsessed I am with vanilla. I just want to eat this candle. This is part of their festive range, so I am considering going back and just stocking up on these candles before January. They just smell so good. Oh, I also got another thing from Spotlight, and that is this. This is like the softest throw I have ever felt. Oh my god. It is so snuggly. I wonder how long it's gonna stay white though. This is the Diamond Forks Fur Throw, in case anyone is wondering. You guys seriously need to feel this. Oh, I just want to stroke it. So the next random things I got, my mum actually got me as like an apartment warming gift, and that is four marble print placemats. These are from Big W and they're so handy when you want to take like Instagram flat lays but you don't have like a marble bench top. Just get one of these. Seriously, who can afford a real marble bench top? Not me. Then the next thing I got is this gold basket. I was going to use this as a rubbish bin in my office space. And this is from the reject shop. It's normally $12 but I got it on sale for 7 What am I doing? Put it down, cat. I feel like everything from now on is just gold. So the next thing I got is a gold pineapple. It's a money bank, has no money in it, story of my life. This is actually from Colette, the handbag store. Turns out they have gold pineapples as well. So the very last things I got were from Freedom. They were having a 30% off sale, so obviously I had to get something. So the first thing I got is this gold mesh table runner. I'm actually having my family Christmas gathering at my apartment this year, so I thought this would be really cute for Christmas Day. Then the very last thing I got isn't actually homewares, and I'm not really sure why I'm including it in this video, but I am. I bought a giant rose gold flamingo. <laughs> now that it's summer here, I thought this would be really cool to like paddle around on. So that's everything I picked up. Now let's get into this mini apartment tour. So this is the view when you first walk in. Over here we have my first bathroom, which I'm just using as a junk room right now. Not entirely sure where I'm going to put all that stuff in it. <laughs> then over here we have my Christmas tree. As you can see, I went for a white and gold theme. Then my linen cupboard, a box I need to sort out still. And then this way we have my lounge area. So we've got my TV, lots of candles, these Christmas tree things I made, TV cabinet, uh, alcohol down there for Christmas. Then these ugly paintings, I absolutely hate them and really want to change them. My clock, which I haven't put batteries in yet, and stuck a red uh, jingly bell on, so it looks like Rudolph. And then over here we have my couch, my cushions, and my gym stuff. Should probably put that away. My coffee table, my actual table, my iMac. I felt like editing out here today, hence the extension cord. <laughs> And then over here is my little kitchen. I've got my water bottle in my sink because I need to wash it, so just ignore that. Then got my coffee machine, microwave, oven, stove, wine glasses and bowls, some cabinets. My fridge is in here. And then over through this way, we have my filming area. So that's where I sit when I film my videos. And then this here is my backdrop and where I keep all of my makeup. And there's another TV up there, which I literally never use. Then this is also another junk corner that I have to sort out. I've got like four boxes of makeup that I have to sort out still. And my soft boxes. And that's an ensemble for a bed that used to be here. But obviously I'd have no room to film if a bed was there. And then back through this way is my bedroom. So this is my bed, my painting. Well, it's not my painting, it's a painting. Bedside tables, my little office area. This is normally where my MacBook sits. 
And then over this way we have my mirror. Hi guys. My cruiser board. Another mirror. I actually want to put this mirror over there when I sort out my stuff. Then I've got another TV cabinet, a mini TV, a whole bunch of products I need to sort through. And then down this way, that's my dirty washing. You guys don't need to see that. Over here is my wardrobe, some shoes, more products I need to sort out. Hi guys. And then through here is my bathroom. One of the lights blew in this today, so it's a bit dark. But yeah, you guys get the general gist of it. I have a lot of products I need to sort through as well. And then over here is my shower. Oh, and also out there is my balcony. And I have another smaller balcony out here as well. And that's my apartment. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.